In this advanced tutorial, we'll be walking you through creating the vectors for this Gothic quatrefoil. There will be a lot of emphasis put on layer management, creating construction vectors, using the mirror, offset and welding tools to create what you can see on screen. So let's start by opening a new copy of the software and creating a new file. And for our job size, we want to specify a width of 30 inches and a height of 12 inches. We do want to have the Z0 on the top of the block and we want to specify a thickness of 1 inch. For this tutorial we want to have the XY date and position in the center and have the units in inches and then when we've done that we can click OK. As this tutorial involves a lot of layer management what we're going to do to start with is rename layer 1 and we're going to rename that to outline shape and just click at close on that and the first thing we're going to do is create our outline shape so our outline shape is a rectangle so if we come to draw vectors and select draw rectangle and we want to have the anchor point in the center and we want this to be x0 y0 we want to have a width of 27 inches and a height of 10.5 inches. When we've got all that information just click create and then close and that's all we need for that layer so we're going to start another layer so we're going to go to add new layer and this layer we're going to call our top and bottom grooves and then click close once we've done that Again, we're going to need to draw another rectangle, so just come to the Draw Rectangle tool. And for this, we're going to want to specify the anchor point to be in the lower left corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the rectangle is going to be the same width as the rectangle we have drawn. But let's say, for instance, we didn't know exactly what size that rectangle was because we'd free drawn it. So what we can do, as we want it to be the same width, we can simply drag the cursor over to the lower left corner or any point in the rectangle that will snap to and then hold the mouse button down and then drag to the other side and then use that as a snap point and you'll see that the width has been brought in as 27 inches. What we can do now is we can also specify our height as 0 0.5 inches and then click create and then close. What we want to do now is we want to move this rectangle just up slightly so we can go to transform objects and then move selected objects we want to move it relative to its current position and we want to move it 3 eighths of an inch up in the y-axis so to do that again can just use the 3 divided by 8 and then press the equal sign and then just press apply and then close and while it's still selected I'm going to want to mirror this rectangle up into the other side of our rectangle as well so to do that we can simply come to transform objects again and then select mirror selected objects and we want to flip about the job center and we do want to create a mirrored copy and what we want to do is we want to flip it vertically so simply just select that and then close and that's it for our top and bottom grooves so what we can do now is we can simply turn off the outline shape and turn off the top and bottom grooves and we, now we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call that foils so do that and then click close to start creating our foils we're going to first want to create a circle so if we come to create vectors and then select the draw circle tool we want to specify the center point to be x0 y0 and we want to choose a diameter of 1.5 inches once you've done that press create and then close what we want to do to start making our trifoil is first of all we're going to want to highlight our circle and then just move the circle down by two thirds of an inch so to do that again we just go to move selected objects and we want to move it relative to its current position down in Y so we want to go minus two divided by three and then press equals that will give us our decimal value and if we just click apply and then close 
Now we've got our circle where we want it to be, we can now create our array of copies. So if we click come down to the offset and layouts and then select this tool that says create a circular array of copies and what we want to do is we want to make sure it rotates around x0, y0. We want to create three copies, make sure rotate copies is checked and we want to make sure we rotate a total angle of 360 degrees. We've got those settings, just press copy and then close. While they're still selected, as we only want to cre create the vectors for the silhouette of these three circles, what we can do is we can use the wild selected vectors option, which basically just takes the outline of all vectors selected. So if we do that, that'll give us our shape that we're after. What we want to do next is create an offset. So if we come over to the offset selected vectors tool while the vectors are still selected and we want to offset inwards and we want to offset inwards of a quarter of an inch we want to make sure create sharp offset corners is selected and we can leave on select new and press offset and then close the form Next we are going to want to modify our inner offset, so to do that first of all we're going to have to create another circle, so if we just come to draw circle, if we snap to the centre and just pull it out slightly so it just overlaps slightly our inner vector and then if we just come over and just then change that diameter to 1.25 inches and then click apply and then close what we can do now is we can then hold shift and then select our inner vector and then also then click the wild selected vectors and that will leave us with the shape that we're after. Just click in the white space to deselect that as well. The next thing we're going to want to do is to create our big circles which our quatrefoils are going to sit inside. First of all I'm just going to hit F on the keyboard to zoom to fit so we can see all of our work area and then I'm going to come over and select to draw a circle I do want it to be x0, y0 and I'm going to select a diameter of 7.5 inches and I'm going to press create and then close I do end up wanting to have three circles so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create one copy so I'm just going to highlight that and then I'm just going to press the right mouse button and I'm going to come up and press copy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this current selected circle over in the x-axis to the left over 9 inches so to do that I'm going to come over to move selected objects and then move it relative to its current position and just put minus 9 in there hit apply and then close and what I can do then is I can deselect and then right click and just press paste. I can also press control and V to paste as well as you would do normally and that will bring the circle back to where it was. The next thing I want to do is I want to take our trifoil and I want to center it in between these two circles. At the moment as you can see these are two separate vectors so first of all I'm going to first of all create our line that we can then center the trifoil in between. So if I just come and snap to the top center of our circle with a poly line and then come across to the other circle and snap again to the center point of that and then to come out of the draw poly line tool when I'm happy with the line that I've got I can just press the right mouse button. Now I've got the line that I'm going to use to center our trifoil in between. What we're going to do now is we're going to highlight our trifoil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then select our line and then come to align selected objects. And what I want to do is I want to align our trifoil to that inside edge of that line. So if I do that, and as you can see what's happened is is our trifoil because they're two separate vectors they are now acting as if they're both being aligned to the inside edge of that line but what we want to do is we want 
the two vectors to maintain their dimensions and spacing with each other at all times. So to do that, I'm going to press Control and then Z just to undo that last operation. And I'm going to deselect everything by clicking in the white space. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag a box around the both of the vectors and then press G on the keyboard, which is going to group our vectors together. Now this will maintain the spacing in between those vectors at all times and so that they're relative to each other. So now if I shift and then select our line and then again press the align to the inside edge you'll see that they've maintained the spacing and then to center the trifold in between the center of that line we can then simply just click the align to selection with the center option and that's aligned it exactly where we want it so we can click close the next thing we're going to want to do is create some offsets so first of all I'm going to deselect everything at the moment by clicking into the white space and then I'm going to select the circles so select one hold shift from the keyboard and then select the other and then come down to offsets and then I'm going to create an outwards offset I'm going to offset that by 0.375 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to leave those options checked and to select new and then select offset and then close. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to want to offset the outer vector of our trifoil. Now as you'll remember they're currently grouped at the moment so we're going to want to ungroup them. So what, how to do that is you simply select the group vectors and then you press the letter U on the keyboard. This will ungroup and then we can deselect and then we can select the outer vector and then again come to offset selected vectors outwards again 3 eighths of an inch and then offset and then close we're starting to build the geometry now to create our V carving shapes so what I'm going to do for organizational purposes I'm going to move all the offset vectors that I've selected and created to a new layer. So I'm going to start by holding shift and select the outer circles and then select the line as well and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to move to layer and then I'm going to select a new layer. I'm going to call this V carve shapes and I'm going to turn that layer off and then press OK. Now I do want to work with those layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the layer drop down I'm going to turn off foils and I'm going to turn on v-carve shapes but you'll notice that the foils layer is in red and what this means is is that's currently the active layer so anything that would draw at the moment would be onto the foils layer which is not what we want so what we do to, to rectify that is we then select the name and that will then create, make that the active layer. So once we've done that, we can click close. The shapes that you see on the screen at the moment are our construction vectors to create our V carving shapes. I want to use these triangles and part of this shape here. So and the rest I can trim away. But if I was to use the trimming tool on this circle, it's going to remove the part of the shape. That I actually want to keep. So to stop the trimming tool doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a polyline in between the center of each of the circles here like so and then just right click to accept that change and now when I use the trimming tool I'll be able to trim away and actually still keep part of the shape that I actually want. So just to demonstrate that there you go and I also want to trim away these lines and I also want to trim away all the objects that are in the center so this line and these lines just to leave me with these basic shapes here once I've done that and I'm happy with that and click close now these will form full close vectors because when we were using the trimming tool we did have selected to rejoin trim sections so that will create our fully closed vectors. So what we want to do now is we want to first of all select this shape 
because we do want to mirror this and we don't want the line in the center. So to remove this, if we just zoom in a little onto that vector, and then if we go to node editing mode and just select the bottom span, and you'll know if you've got this correct because the focus on the mouse pointer will have a little wiggly sign to let you know that your currently your selection will be dealt with with a span and not a point if you would like on here you'll see that the cursor changes so all we need to do is hit D on the keyboard and that will then delete that span we can then press escape to get out of node editing and then F to zoom back to fit uh, our work area the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be mirroring our objects but first of all we're just going to turn back on our foils layer and then close that and what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this selection here so simply do as I have and just drag a box around those objects and then come to the mirror selected objects tool we do want to flip about the job center and we do want to create a mirrored copy so if we just click to flip vertical and then close that and then just select into the white space now these two vectors here are going to be separated but we want to actually join these together so simply select one hold shift on the keyboard and select the other and then come down to join open vectors specify a small tolerance so like I have 0 0.0004 and then press join and then just close that form we do have another mirroring operation to perform but for this we're going to have to create uh, a line so what, what it is we want to do is we want to mirror these two on the opposite side of our circle but to do this we're going to use a polyline so we're going to select the polyline tool come to the top of our circle and you can see that it snaps to the dead center of the top of the circle just click it once drag it down and then click it where it snaps again at the bottom and to exit that just press the right button on the mouse and then what we're going to do next is we're going to highlight the triangles that we've got and also we're going to highlight last the line it needs to be last otherwise it won't allow us to do that and then what we do is we go to mirror selected objects we don't select to flip about the job center what we do is we do want to create a mirror copy and what we're going to do is we're going to flip about the line and that will be our last line that we selected so we just do that that will create our opposing triangles so just click close on the mirroring form and then select the line and then just press the delete key on the keyboard the last of our mirroring operations is simply to select all our shapes apart from the center circle so simply drag a box around those and make sure you've only enclosed fully the ones that we want and then come to mirror select objects again and this time we do want to flip about the job center and then this time we want to make sure we're flipping horizontally so just select that and then close deselect by clicking in the white space for this next part we're going to want to undraw our vcarve shapes layer so simply come over to the layers drop down and just click on the light bulb and that will turn off everything in our vcarve shapes layer we're also going to want to also select our foils layer to bring that back to be the active layer and then click close from here we're going to create some offset vectors of our center circle so we should be fam familiar with this so if we just select the center circle and come down to offset selected vectors and we're going to offset firstly we're going to offset inwards by a quarter inch and then select offset make sure selected new is there and then we're going to offset inwards again by three eighths of an inch so 0 0.375 and then select offset and then click close the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the one of the circles that we're going to use for our quatrefoil so if we come to draw circle and then have the XY point as zero and then we create a diameter of the circle as three inches so just type three there and then press create and then close 
what we're going to do is we're going to align this circle to the top of this one so you should be familiar with this one as well so simply select that circle and this circle and come to our align selected objects and then just select this option to align it to the inside edge of the last vector like so and click close and what we can do now is we can create our quadrifoil array so we do that by selecting the circle and then come to this option we want to make sure that we're rotating around x0, y0 and then we want to make four copies and rotate around a total of 360 degrees and when we're happy with that just press copy and then close with all the circles select still selected what we're going to do is we're going to use the weld tool as we did previously when we and you can see that's left us with an inner vector and um, we don't want that so simply highlight that and then press delete next we're going to select our quadrifoil outline and then create an offset so come to offset vectors and select to offset inwards and we're going to offset that inwards by one quarter of an inch so 0 0.25 make sure create sharp offset corners is selected and then select to offset and then click close the next thing we're going to do is going to create a circle similar to when we created this shape on our trifoil so again select circle start from the center pull outwards just so it's touching there and we can obviously modify the diameter here so I'm going to select it to be 3.75 inches and then click apply and then close again select the inner offset that we created just and then select to weld those vectors the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an offset of this vector here and so if we just select that and then come down to offset selected vectors we're going to offset outwards this is going to be for our final V carving shapes so if we just offset that by 3 eighths of an inch and then select to offset and then close and what we're going to do while that's still selected we're going to hold shift and select the smallest of our inner circles that we offset earlier and we're going to right click that and we're going to move these to our V carve shapes layer and as you've noticed they've disappeared and that's because if you check our layers that our V carve shapes layer is currently invisible so if we just hit F on the keyboard now to zoom to fit and if we go back to our layers turn off the foils layer turn on the V carve shapes layer and again as we want to anything that we do create we want it to be on the V carve shapes layer so make sure that's the active layer and click close what we want to do is we want to have these inner shapes here left for our center circles so to do that we want to have, have the circle and what we want to do is we want to take away our quadrifoil shape from that so then that would leave us with these shapes here Now we can do that with the trimming tool but we can also do that with our weld tools but this time we'd use the subtract vectors so if we do that as you can see that has left us with the shapes that we wanted so just selecting the white space to deselect those our design now is pretty much finished so all we need to do now is finish our left and right center circles so if we come up to the layer manager and turn back on the foils layer and what we need to do is we need to copy all these vectors inside this circle and to do that we can either obviously go around and select each individual vector manually or we can use the option to drag from right to left when dragging and creating a box from right to left to select items any vector that touches our box that we're creating at the moment will be selected if you were doing it from left to right everything that you that is selected has to be with inside the box so once we've got them highlighted just click them again and now we can move these objects from left to right now the easiest way to do that is to hold control on the keyboard and then with the mouse button in the center point hold the mouse button down and then move to the center point of the left circle and as you can see there now keep holding the control button down 
button, just let go of the left mouse button and then with that left mouse button again hold it on the center point and move it to the right and when we hit that center point just let go of the left mouse button and that's it we have now completed our design so we can now turn back on our top and bottom grooves and we can also turn back on our outline shape and as you can see that completes our vector design for this tutorial so the next thing to do is to save our work and then we can use it in the companion toolpathing tutorial.